Hello everyone, and welcome to The Breakdown with AP, an in-depth look at some of EuroLeague's best players. I'm Alec Peters, also known as AP. I'm a former second round NBA draft pick, a EuroLeague champion in 2019 with Seska Moscow, and I'm a current member of the first place team in EuroLeague, Anadolu FS. I'm going to be giving you guys a special look at EuroLeague's top talent through detailed film breakdowns and highlights. So let's get started, let's watch, let's learn together, let's get to it. Welcome to The Breakdown. In this week's edition, I will be giving you guys a detailed breakdown of Anadolu FS guard Shane Larkin and his ability to score and play out of the pick and roll. Shane had a tremendous season with averages of 22 points, 4 assists, 3 rebounds, on an efficient 53% field goals, 51% three-point field goals, and 90% from the free throw line, on his way to a probable MVP award before the season was cut short. Let's dive into an area of Shane's game and see why he's one of the elite guards in basketball right now. Here we go. Starting out, I've got a few plays here where Shane gets to the basket out of a pick and roll situation. So first clip we have here is going to highlight Shane's ability to create an advantage and read where the open lane is as he uses the pick and roll. You'll see this isn't going to be a traditional pick and roll situation. We're going to have a handoff into a pick and roll. So uh, let's run the play one time, then we'll go back and break it down from the beginning. Handoff situation, pick and roll. Shane navigates, gets the layup. So starting from the beginning, we see we're going to get into the set here. Roderick Bobois is going to catch at the top of the key. Come into a handoff situation. Now right here, as I pause it, we've got a pick and roll happening between Shane and Tibor Pleiss. Now Tibor does a good job of rerouting Shane's defender so that he has to go over the screen. And as I stop it right here, you can kind of see now that the blue jerseys are essentially playing five on four versus the yellow. Meaning we have five blue jerseys attacking four yellow and you see one yellow jersey kind of out of the play behind Shane. Now, Tibor does a really good job here of rolling, crashing into the lane, and getting his man on his back, creating a seal situation to where now Shane can navigate through the lane, sees the opening, and moves in for the layup, and one with the goaltending. Moving to the second clip now, we're going to see another situation where right now we have a setup with Tibor Ply setting a down screen right now for Shane to get a catch towards half court top of the key area, middle pick and roll situation, more traditional action. Tibor is going to come back right here, set a ball screen for Shane to get to his right hand. Now, if I rewind it a little bit, we can see as this pick and roll happens, we're going to move forward a little bit here. Walter Tavares, the best shot blocker in EuroLeague right now, is way high above the three-point line, probably to stop Shane from coming off the pick and roll and taking the shot. Now, Shane recognizes this. Crosses back over to the left, using his quickness, which one, he's one of the best players in basketball, using his quickness to create an advantage. To cross back, speed dribble through the lane. Now as I pause it right here, you can notice that Shane didn't traditionally jump towards the basket. What he did was he looked to see where the shot blocker was coming from as he went by him. Used his athleticism to jump back into him to almost stop the momentum of Tavares so that he can get either a foul or create space for the layup. And as you see right here... There was a foul. So let's run it back and see it kind of from full speed. We're going to have Shane coming back up to the top. Right hand pick and roll, cross over to the lane, back into the shot blocker, creating the foul. Let's see it one more time. Coming in transition. Here's the setup. Right hand, cross to left, speed dribble. Now right here, if I get it on the right time, you can see Shane, his eyes necessarily weren't on the rim when I'm talking about jumping back into the shot blocker here. He was looking to see where the shot blocker was coming from because he had an uncontested layup, but knowing that Tavares is such a great shot blocker, he's worried about where he's at. So he's going to use his eyes to see where he's at, jump back into him, create the contact, and get the foul. Moving to the third clip now, we're going to see Shane be the primary ball handler in this situation. Now he's going to get a high pick and roll immediately, almost towards half court. And what you're going to see is he's going to hit a move with an in and out dribble with his left hand and go away from the screen to get into the lane. Now we're going to watch the play right now in real time, and then we're going to go back and break it down. In and out dribble, into the lane, makes the layup. Now let's start it from the beginning here. So as I pause it right here, 
you can see from this different camera angle, Shane's going to hit an in and out dribble with his left hand. As I move forward, you're going to see Tibor Pleiss, number 21 in blue there, was set up for Shane to come off the pick and roll to his right hand. Now Shane rejects the screen using the in and out dribble with the left to go away from it, essentially putting two defenders out of position, the one guarding him and Tavares guarding the screener. Now the other three Real Madrid players right now are guarding the perimeter really heavily to prevent any spot three-point shots. So Shane has an open driving lane as he uses his quickness to get in there. Now as I pause it right here, he's put in the same situation as last clip. He either is going to jump back into the shot blocker, or in this situation he's going to use his athleticism to almost cut off Tavares' path. You're going to see him dive across, cut off the momentum to make the layup. Now we're going to watch it again, full speed, in and out dribble. Right here, you can see Tavares does not want to foul in this situation like he did in the last clip, so Shane able to get it high up off the glass for the layup. This next highlight here is again going to show Shane using his quickness and his ball handling to get around two defenders and create a big advantage for his team on offense. So we're going to roll the clip here in real time. Shane speed dribbles up the court, gets everybody set, gets everybody spaced out, Tibor Plyce coming for the pick and roll. Quickness, speed dribble around for the layup. So we're going to back it up. We're going to play it and break this one down in detail. So right here, Shane right now is getting everybody set, making sure that everybody's in the correct spacing. Now right here, Tibor Plyce is coming up for another high pick and roll towards half court. Now the Barcelona defenders are almost creating a trapping situation here. We've got Corey Higgins guarding the ball and Antti Tomic guarding Tibor, the screener. Now Shane, seeing this, knowing I'm going to use my quickness to get around, and right here, he's created a five-on-three situation. we got five white jerseys on the perimeter and three Barcelona players scrambling to figure out how to guard it. Now Shane, in attack mode right now, is going to get all the way in for the layup. We're going to back it up one more time show you guys something else so we're getting up the court here we're gonna get everybody set Tibor Plyce coming for the pick and roll Shane beats the trap essentially now what I think what makes guards so special and guys like Shane guys like Mike James come to mind Nick Kalathis the great guard guards in EuroLeague is that when they get to the second level when they get by their defender and they get into the the scoring area or the paint they create many options. They don't just have one option when they get in there. They've created many options for themselves and for their teammates. So as you see, Shane's created all kinds of passes that he can make. We have left corner open as he continues to get in the lane right here. And then as he goes in for the layup, you see all eyes on him. He's got a pass to the right corner, maybe a swing swing over to Rodrigue Bobois for an open three. But in the end, result's still the same. We get a score. Now part of a film session breakdown is also looking at plays and clips where you or another player could have made better decisions or more solid plays. So here's a clip where Shane is going to draw two defenders from a middle pick and roll and he's going to try to get the ball to Tibor Plyce with a low bullet pass. So let's run the play so you guys can see it. Shane's not the primary ball handler in this situation, but when he does catch here, we got a middle pick and roll to his right. Two defenders drawn, low bullet pass to Tibor, which ends up becoming a turnover. Now let's run it back here and break it down. We're going to get the ball up the floor into the set. Eventually it's going to come into Shane getting the ball. Middle of the court, middle pick and roll with Tibor Ply setting it on his right hand. Now Shane's going to do a really good job coming off with his right hand, drawing two defenders right here. Now instead of a bullet pass, something where Shane could have improved here, is Tibor 7'1", seven 7'2", seven so a higher pass, something where Tibor can catch high and finish high, maybe a lob towards the rim because the two defenders for Red Star on the backside aren't as big and aren't as tall as Tibor. So instead of opting for a low bullet pass, which is tough for a guy this tall to handle, in this situation, maybe a lob, maybe a higher pass. And you're going to see as we roll over into the next clip, right here, Shane's going to come here in transition. He's going to essentially do the same thing. He's going to create space 
Pick and roll with Tibor. High pass this time. Tibor catches high, finishes high. So let's run this one back real quick. Shane bringing the ball in transition. Now right here, rejecting the first screen, if I rewind it a little bit. Tibor's trying to set a ball screen right here. Now Shane rejects it knowing that there's not a whole lot of room to play with if he were to go over with his right hand. So he's going to create more room, more space by bringing the ball down almost to the corner. Tibor's going to come back, set a pick and roll with more space to operate on his right hand. Shane gets into the lane right here. High pass this time. Catch high, finish high. Good result. In the previous highlights, I showed you Shane's ability to get to the basket out of the pick and roll and create scoring opportunities for himself and his teammates. Now let's transition to showing Shane using the pick and roll to score from the outside, more specifically from the three. Shane hit 88 threes this season on 51% shooting with more than half of those field goal makes coming from a pick and roll situation, which is ridiculous given the level of difficulty some of his shots are. So let's get into it. Let's get into the breakdown of it here with this first clip. In this first clip, you'll notice right away that Shane is going to start off the ball in kind of a secondary position, but is going to end up very similar to our last clips where he's going to be catching in the middle of the floor, waiting for the pick and roll to happen. Now here we are, Shane is caught kind of halfway between half court and the three-point line, and this time, instead of the five-man Tibor Plice coming to set a pick and roll, we have the four-man Chris Singleton coming for a pick and roll or pick and pop situation. Now an important detail here that Chris uses is he's going to flip the angle of the screen. So instead of setting it to where Shane can use his left hand to come off and attack the basket, he's going to flip the angle so that he can now set it for Shane to go right. Now the defender guarding Chris Singleton here in the screen is going to give a short show up right here to hopefully keep Shane from getting downhill towards the basket. Now Shane using his quickness, and you see how low he gets right here, he's going to get around the screen and into his jump shot right there now let's run it back one more time so we can see it all develop we're going to get into the play here Shane's going to get his catch in the middle of the floor pick and roll pick and pop action here's this short show Shane gets low beats it around now Chris Singleton does a good job of setting the screen on Mike James and getting just a little piece of him to get that separation that Shane needs in order to get off this shot. And we've all seen this shot a hundred times from Shane over the season. Moving to this next clip, we're gonna see Shane take advantage of kind of a blown defensive coverage here by Red Star, but you're gonna see him end up on the sideline in a four corner pick and roll situation where he's gonna set up his man, beat him to the middle, and end up giving himself a wide open jump shot off the pick and roll. So let's roll it right here, watch it in, in real time. Wide open shot for Shane. So let's play it from the beginning and kind of break it down. Shane's going to get the ball right side, more towards the sideline. Now right here, as Tibor Plice comes to set the pick and roll, you're going to see the Red Star defender is square with Shane to the basket, meaning he's not forcing him one way or the other. Now the defender of the pick and roll, the big man guarding Tibor Plice, is kind of in a position where he wants the guy guarding the ball to force him down or force him towards the sideline. And Shane sees that he's out of position, and he's also way back towards the free throw line. Shane makes his jab step to the right, as you see here. I'm going to play it. Jab step to the right, beat it to the left, and this turns into an uncontested, wide-open, left-hand dribble pull-up off the ball screen. Both defenders out of position. Tibor Pleist does a great job of getting a piece of the defender to set up a wide-open jump shot for Shane. Now let's play it one more time. So that we can see it all develop one more time. We got Shane sideline with the ball, ball screen happening. You can see it's virtually an uncontested jump shot here that he creates by setting up his man and taking advantage of the miscommunication by the defenders. Next clip we have here Shane, primary ball handler again, bringing the ball up the court. We're going to run this play all the way through full speed one time and then we'll break it down afterwards. We got Shane with the ball. Crossing half court here. Another flip the screen situation with the five man Sertaj Sanli. And you see Shane gets into his jump shot. Now we'll start it over here and we'll break it down. Again, primary ball handler is Shane. Immediately heading into a high pick and roll in the middle. Now we see here Sertaj does a good job sprinting into the screen, 
flipping the angle for Shane to get to his right hand again. You can see the defender of Sertach is kind of back and he's set up and the defender on the ball is set up for Shane to go left. Now Shane does a good job setting up his man and you can see setting up the defender to shift their weight a little bit off balance so he crosses back over to his right hand giving himself room with the big already being back in the circle towards the free throw line to get to a right hand pull up three with a lot of space and almost no contest. We'll see it one more time. We'll let this one run full speed. Just so you guys can see it. It's always good to see it in full speed and to see it paused and slowed down. Shane getting to his right hand, throwing both defenders off balance into that shot. Okay, so just like before, while we show the good plays, we also have to break down the not-so-good plays as players and see what we can learn from. This clip is going to show Shane playing a little too fast early in the shot clock, so uh, let's roll it and see at full speed here. We're going to get the rebound. Shane's going to be the primary ball handler here into a transition pick and roll with the four-man this time. Now, as you see here, we get a quick shot off a few dribbles, so we're going to play it over and we're going to break it down. Shane with the ball in transition after the rebound. Now, I'm going to pause it here. We have a pick and roll situation between the point guard and Adrian Mormon, who's playing the four position at this time. We're going to look at a few things that Shane maybe could have made a different decision or something that you know we can learn from from this play. Shane's going to come off this screen right now, and the Jalgiris defender is going to show up a little bit. Now Adrian's going to roll towards the basket here, and you could say there might be an opportunity right here for Shane to hit Adrian, for him to get a layup, or for him to create something here. Now these are only a few seconds into the shot clock here after the rebound and after the transition pick and roll. Thomas Walkup, the defender for Zalgiris, gets a really good job of getting through the screen, fighting through, getting back in front of Shane. Now Shane here is going to cross back through and get into a little step back right hand jump shot from three. Now if we were riding this a little bit, right here where he's getting ready to come off the first initial pick and roll, maybe an opportunity to pass inside like I said. Now if Shane, if you want to play one-on-one -on -one right here, what you can do is maybe take the dribble and pull the ball back out, maybe towards half court a little bit, and attack with a little more space and a little more speed. And also, since it's early in the clock, maybe take the dribble out a little bit more and call Tibor Pleiss, who's right off to his left side, for another pick and roll. Just a few areas right there that we can learn from. But as you see, Shane gets into a quick shot right here. But it's also a shot we've obviously seen Shane hit many times before. The last clip of this film session breakdown is one I wanted to put in here just so we can end on a great play from an amazing performance that Shane had when he broke the single game scoring record with 49 points against Bayern Munich. There's nothing I'm really going to break down here. This just shows what a season he was having and how tough to guard he can be in the pick and roll and just in general. So let's go ahead and roll it. End of the game, crowds on their feet. Shot for his 49th point. Nothing but net. That concludes this first episode of The Breakdown with AP. I want to thank Shane Larkin, obviously, for letting me use him in this first edition. I hope you guys really enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.